Education officials say they're pleased with what they observed during impromptu visits to a number of schools. The team included Chief Education Officer Dr. Ramona Archer Bradshaw, the Ministry's Strategic Policy Advisor Dr. Idame Denny, and Director of the Change Management Unit Dr. Paul Murphy. They say they were pleasantly surprised to see teachers engaged and students having fun while learning as they toured Beyond the Box Education, St. Lucy Primary and Darrell Jordan Secondary. Dr. Archer Bradshaw says this is exactly what the ministry wants to see as it continues to move full steam ahead with the education transformation agenda. The education transformation agenda speaks to improving student outcomes. It speaks to enhancing teacher quality, uh, making sure that we have effective leaders. We are going to be looking at improving our physical infrastructure as well as the digital infrastructure. We will be looking at the operations at the Ministry of Education itself, seeing how we can be more effective and more efficient. And lastly, we'll be looking at the regulations that govern the teaching service, everything that we do in education. And we'll be looking to upgrade those um, where, where necessary. Dr. Murphy says the Change Management Unit has been working feverishly to develop the various proposals for education transformation. We've been uh, feverishly working to, to, to get the proposal out for our curriculum review and revision. Um, we are also going to be doing um, a consultancy to look at the um, development of an inclusive education policy and strategy. Um, we recently concluded our model modern school infrastructure design competition and we hope to announce the winners for that competition very early in July. Meanwhile, Dr. Denny says the establishment of the Strategic Innovations Unit is a necessary move. The Prime Minister made reference to the fact that people who offer special education and education for the gifted, they are going to get um, a rebate. rebates, mm -hmm. or a 50% rebate in the case of education for the gifted and a 75% rebate in the case of education for, the, for special needs. We are already working on the policies that are going to be used to determine who qualifies for those rebates. The ministry is also focusing on developing local, regional and global partnerships to assist with the education transformation process. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.